I might be under the weather here, a little pissed off about something, but uh, get over it, as they say. So, you know, I, I did what I thought I was supposed to do. And I, you know, I, it, I had fun knocking the shit out of people, you know. So, so if it was that unusual, I guess you, you take it, you know. You had back-to-back uh, -back, uh, Illinois guys, Howard and them win the Butkus Award, you know, which caught a lot of shit from the Southern people, mm -hmm. like, oh, it was fixed, but I don't vote for it, so be thought of also when they look at the statue. So it's a humbling deal. Uh, what else, you know, the hell can you say? It's usually for some dead people, but uh, it's pretty nice. You're in the same situation I was. You know, you can get your ass beat, but you can let them know that, you know what? They're, that's a hell of a team. They come after you. They said, you know what? We hated to play you guys. I mean, you weren't worth it, but we knew we were going to get our ass knocked off. He had something in a vice and he was soldering it. <clears throat> and all of a sudden I'm smelling like burnt chicken feathers. And I'm looking, I look down and he's under there. I mean, he's doing the soldering with bare feet and the lead or the, 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 you know, the molted, melted steel is flicking off his foot. And he's like, get, you know, like he was being harassed by a gnat or something. And he was living in his car for a while, so he said, well, I'm going to go in here in this cafe and have me a good breakfast. I got no money. What is he going to do? And then I'm going to steal some gas and I'm driving up to Kansas City. And he goes in there and he has a big breakfast and he's having his coffee now and he's thinking, do I run out of here or how the hell do I get out of here? That's why I'm not, you know, I try not to be so macho with the cane, but I got this neuropathy and it's like I'm drunk all the time. I mean, without drinking, and believe me, that's not fun. I'd rather be drunk and wobble, but uh, Cleo Mack, you know, he's... Supposedly a linebacker? Come on. Uh, but he's good. He's good. So you can be called a linebacker. Come on. I mean, uh, yeah, what, what? You know, if someone, you know, if they wanted to put you a statue of you for a writer or whatever you do, I mean, how do you feel about it? Oh, I deserve it? <laughs> you know, maybe the kids today will say it, but I, you know, uh, it's a very humbling deal. And, you know, and you wonder, you know, why, man? You know, in the old days when you would, you know, jump up and do a cartwheel after you made a tackle and you're losing 48 to nothing, you would be taken care of by, by, by your own. No one's going to be showing you up. But, uh, of course, it's different now. I uh, appreciate you coming and uh, write good things. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>